Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode 8. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll just focus on the denominator. We got two linear factors. That means when we do the partial fraction, we're going to put down two fractions. All right. So the first one is going to be the first linear factor is x and the second one is 5x minus 4 and now let's look at the top and the numerator for the first fraction I'm going to put down constant a and for the second fraction I am going to put down constant b and now our task is to find constant a and b so the very first step is just look at the denominator this part x times 5x minus 4 whatever this amount is we are going to multiply across the board with each and every fraction so x times 5x minus 4 with the first term with the first fraction x times 5x minus 4 and x times 5x minus 4 and now the next step is look at these one over here this x cancels with this x this 5x cancels 5x minus 4 cancels out with this 5x minus 4 and we ended up with simply 7 on the left hand side and now let's look at the right hand side this x is gone with this x so we ended up with a times 5x minus 4 and then let's look at this thing 5x minus 4 is gone with this 5x minus 4 so we are left with b times simply x and i am going to call this as an equation number one now let's look at this quick trick look for the linear factors in the denominator that means right up here over here we have a one linear factor and we have another linear factor so we got two linear factors let's go ahead and write it down over here x over here on this side and here 5x minus 4 on this side let's set both of them equal to 0 so one of the value of x turns out to be 0 and set this one equal to 0 as well so this move this negative 4 on the other side become 5x equal to 4 so that means x turns out to be 4 over 5 so we got two x values from here now let's look at this x equal to 0 value and this is what I wrote down put x equal to 0 in this equation number 1 that means wherever we see x replace it by 0 let's go ahead and do that one on the left hand side we got a 7 equals to a times 5 let's replace this x by 0 minus 4 plus let's look at this one over here this x is 0 we are going to substitute 0 so that means this b times 0 the whole this term is going to become 0 so I'm going to just put down a 0 right up here so we got 7 equal to a times 0 minus 4 which tells us that 7 equals to negative 4a that means a is equal to negative 7 over 4 value and now let's look at this other value of x which is 4 over 5 so that's what I just wrote down put x equal to 4 over 5 in this equation number one that means wherever you see x you just simply substitute it by four fifth so let's go ahead and do that thing 
on the left hand side of this equation is just simply 7 equal to let's look at this one over here a times 5 when we replace x by 7 4 fifth 5 times 4 over 5 and then minus 4 this 5 and 5 is gone so we ended up 4 minus 4 which gives us 0 so 0 times this whole quantity turns out to be simply 0 so I am going to just write down 0 over here plus b times 4 over 5 and now let's simplify this thing 7 equals to 4 fifth of b since we want to isolate b let's multiply by the reciprocal of 4 fifth that is going to be 5 over 4 and likewise 5 over 4 on this side so this over here this 5 and 5 is gone this 4 and 4 is gone so we simply ended up with b equals to 35 over 4 this is our b value so thus our a value turns out to be a negative 7 over 4 and b value turns out to be 35 over 4 so thus in our partial fraction wherever you see a we are going to replace it by negative 7 over 4 and wherever we see b we are going to replace it 35 over 4 and here i wrote down negative 7 over 4 on the first fractions numerator and 35 over 4 on the second fractions numerator and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye